It's like I hit him with a fix, quite slick with a stick. And she thick with them hips to the lick, leave a tip of that trick and a trick when she twists. If you tryna get a hit, these balls of the bricks get a fix. No cause when I whip this hard when you sniff on God, get a split. See stars when I spit this lick. Hey, tempt me, I'm a tempy, new era. Zone in at Phoenix, young Ronin. I go in like Conan. I rise on you, sons now you moanin. I'm cogent, my code is unbroken. My code that compressed and unloaded. Whoever sees this and subscribes right now will get a free car like Kid Cuddy. Be careful, this giveaway is blowing up. What's going on, YouTube? It's Wally Knox Hill. We are back. We're back to the reaction series. So today, today, man. Listen, we got a very special one on deck. This is a track that I feel like needs a second deep dive because there's things that I miss. There's things that I want to break down, but also I've never seen this lyric video and I'm interested to see if we have more Easter eggs from Eminem, more just little tidbits of maybe what's to come or some hidden meanings behind this album because that is what he's known for. So I'm excited for this one. So we got Eminem, we got J.I.D. This right here right now is Fuel, the lyric video. But before I get further, listen, if you like the hat that I'm wearing, if you like the hoodie, knoxillmusic.com. We're almost sold out of these hats. I know it's winter. Go cop your hoodies. We got shirts. We got all kinds of merch. If you want to support the channel, support me directly. It really does go a long way. I'll put all links below so you can rep the brand. Also, if you like that track in the intro, brand new one take video, Survivor's Guilt is out now with my brand new album, Chaos Theory 2. If you like what you hear, you want to check it out. Again, all links will be down there. But anyways, anyways, what we're here for. Eminem, step back up to the plate. Let's see what you got. One. Smoking trees, I'm riding around. Come to my side of town. Lately, it's Look, been going, going, uh, going, going, yeah. going, going down. All of my niggas gon' ride with it in the pocket. The rocket like Kelly Mom. Mama told me the power was in the tongue, but it probably ain't powerful as a gun. All of you little cowards get devoured. I'm giving out flowers to anyone. I ain't been out the house in a minute, cause I ain't with it if the money is miniature. I've been minding my business, I'm finished minding. I've been spending some time with the minister. Cause them niggas finish it and still sinning in the city of God and the sinister. Try to pray and repent. And Those lines just hit differently, and I tell you, you what what in the side scroller street fighter is going on we know eminem loves video games he's got arcade games in his house this just feels like that classic 90s bit side scroller i love how you can pick your character between eminem and jid but hey on, we got some shout outs to do uh, going, going, yeah. going, going all of my niggas gonna ride with it in the pocket the rocket like killing mom i'm a so riding around going down 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 that is a chopped sample i don't think i give credit to it in the original breakdown but i gotta shout out ill dime for that one that's where that cut is from riding around that little intro that you hear and that gets cut throughout the production man because hip-hop is just known for samples right and it doesn't have to be a classic sample it could be something dropped a few years ago like this track was and then you could sample and cut it and use it it's always a great way to just further reinvigorate movement and just keep the fluidity and keep the currents of music alive anyways keep it running baby going, going, yeah. going all of my niggas gonna ride with it in the pocket the rocket like killing mom mama told me the power was in it gonna ride with it in the pocket the rocket like i think what's interesting is all of my duck gonna ride with it the way that he hits that ride with it you think he's gonna have different rhyme schemes like vibe with it time with it did it line in it you know, and just sit there and hit that ride just because of the way that he punches that. And I think this is what contributes to almost sort of this like off kilter flow from Jitty is that you never know where he's going to punch in his rhyme schemes. And I think because of the way that he just accentuates and takes his voice and hits it like a drummer's percussion, you never really know how he's going to kind of attack this beat. And he could throw you off a little bit. And I love that, but he's still got such a buttery smooth flow with it all, man. All of my niggas gonna ride with it in a pocket to rock it like killing mama. So instead of ride with it, he goes pocket to rock it and condenses that internal rhyme scheme. And that's what he ends up rhyming. I told me the power was in the tongue, but it probably ain't powerful as a gun. Power was in the tongue powerful as a gun you hear him just hitting those peas man on the mic get the rocket like killing mom mama told me the power was in a tongue but it probably ain't powerful as a gun all of you little cowards get devoured i'm giving out flowers to anyone ain't cowards devoured flowers see how he sits there and then continues to punch in the internal and then he gets out to the gun one kellen munn Texas A&M quarterback throwing rockets, but he's got a rocket in his pocket. Gunplay bars. I ain't powerful as a gun. All of you little cowards get devoured. I'm giving out flowers to anyone. I ain't been at the house. No, no. That is dope as hell. So when he gives out flowers, you see the chalk outline because the flowers that he gives is giving out. He's not giving out praise. He's not giving out those flowers. If you want it, you can get devoured. I'll throw out your funeral flowers and your funeral roses, and that's what's laid right there. And then he's walking in front of trash. 
I think he's taking that. He's calling them trash. Then you could get laid out all these rappers who want to challenge him. I ain't been at the house in a minute because I ain't with it if the money is miniature. I've been minding my business. I'm business. And money miniature minded my business goes back he loves to just flip these internal rhyme schemes and then also have crazy alliteration so we went from the p alliteration now to the m alliteration it's dope from jitty this verse man i've been spending some time with the minister because them niggas finish it and still sinning in the city of god in the sinister Try to and i take that even spinning like you know they're spinning the block they're having this violent lifestyle but i also read a double of that like they're spending spending because it's all it's all for the money, isn't it? This violence, this power, this greed, which leads to sin in the city of God. And there's an irony to saying that this is supposed to be the city of God, and yet all these dudes are sinning, right? This is what I walk through. This is how I feel about Atlanta as I walk these streets. And you see the picture and the image of Jiddy as he's walking through the streets. And then obviously I talked about in the original breakdown, the city of God, shout out, and that reference. And what's interesting to me is that he has the rocket lines above, right? And then later on, he comes through talking about City of God. And there's a main character in City of God, Rocket. And I just wonder if after he dropped in the Rocket scheme, because sometimes this happens when you're writing, right? Subconsciously as an artist, you might drop in a line or a word. And that word kind of leads you creatively into a further space, into a further just thought process. And I wonder if there's just a web of connection there from his Rocket that he first jumps in. And then later, leading into the city of God, he talks about the corruption that he sees. And then city of God deals with drug dealing, much in the same way that Jitty probably feels like the favelas in Brazil and city of God are like what he's seeing in the ATL streets and all that corruption that he speaks on. I mean, this is just like, this is a verse that shows the technicality of JID, but to me, it's also him just giving that real talk. Right, that MCing of what he's been through, of what he's seen. He just has some lines that just really hit you deep in the chest, man. Try to pray and repent in a synagogue or a mosque, a temple, a church, them brown skin cinnamon niggas hurting and murders a common courtesy for certainly RPB on the shirt, search, lurk, murk, squirt, dirt, first. How ridiculous is that flow as he pushes through that? I go a mosque, a temple, a church, them brown skin, cinnamon niggas hurting and murders a common courtesy for certainly RPB on the shirt, search, lurk, murk, squirt, dirt, wow. first. Without a first 48, right? Murder, a common courtesy, trying to solve a case within the first 48. I love how that just gets thrown in there. It almost feels like it's a, a video game score when the dude jumps in here with the graphics of 48. But before that, I really love the line, murder is a common courtesy. Because for him, again, he's not glorifying the violence. He's stating the issues that he sees. Murder is just, it's so common, right? It's like an everyday occurrence that it's almost like returning revenge and dealing with murder is just seen as a as a tip of the hat like a regular thing a regular everyday common courtesy i mean that's just like the bitter cruel irony with which jitty spits that first lurk murk squirt dirt first my nigga doing four plus eight without a court date talked the other day he said he doing okay he good he gaining weight and got a sharp shake he made he say they play they gotta partake homie got a heart full of hate and a face full of war pain eyes all red full of rage and it's hard to escape from a dark place east side niggas from the a niggas all ages trying to sell a pound out of dog cage all the ogs round town was all age danger sex and drugs sex and all pound to dog cage dog pound and i love the meta of him actually like playing a game when literally we have video game graphics going on throughout this. Ages, trying to sell a pound of the dog cage. All the OGs round town was all age. Danger sex and drugs, sex and all rated. Danger sex and drugs should be out But don't get this shit fucked up, my boy. You lucked up once, nigga. Double up by dribbling and passing to the cup and triple double to get to the basket, get the cash and cut a up, cover up, bundle up, batter up. Um, talk a lot of smack and I can back it up. Shout it, wanna shack, wanna shack it up. I can put a puss on the platter like a platter puss. Nap a head, nigga, hair and it up. I said, Barbara, nigga, tat it up. I won't argue, nigga, bad for. Wow, I tell you what, we broke down the barber lines before, but the other thing I really love is the platypus line. Put a puss on a platter like a platter. Put the pussy on a platter. Get it? A plat of puss. Plat of pussy versus a platypus. Like just fitting platypus into the rhyme scheme is extra points on that. But even before that, like think about what he's doing, right? The things that he's talking about, right? Four plus eight. My boy's doing 12 without a court date. He took a plea deal and he talks about gaining weight. Why? Because it's like survival of the fittest. They talked the other day. He said he doing okay. He good. He gaining weight. and got a sharp shank. He made. He said. Got a sharp shank. Why? Because even in jail, even in prison, it's still about survival. It's still about the violence. They play. They got to partake. Homie got a heart full of hate and a face full of war paint. Eyes all red full of rage and it's hard to escape from a dark place. I just love that poetry right there, right? Homie got a heart full of hate and a face full of war paint eyes all red that's just great descriptors that just like 
let you picture that within your mind. Place east side niggas from the A niggas, all ages. Trying to sell a pound of the dog cage. All the OGs round town was all age. Danger, sex, and drugs. X and R rated. Danger, sex, and What's interesting is because he has the danger, sex, and drugs are X and R rated. But before that, he's got an all ages line. So it doesn't matter what your age is. Even though, like, this violence, kids shouldn't be seeing it. It's so common that it's like they're being walked into a rated R in an X-rated movie. A rated. Danger sex and drugs should be outrageous. But don't get this shit fucked up, my boy. You lucked up once, nigga doubled up. I dribble and pass it to the cup and triple double it. Get to the basket, get the cash and cut up. Dope basketball schemes. Cover up, bundle up, batter up. Um, talk a lot of smack and I can back it up. Shout it, wanna shack, wanna shack it up. I can put a puss on a platter like a platter puss. Nap a head, nigga, hair and it up. I said, Barbara, nigga, tatted up. I won't argue. Hang on, let me play the reference for the Barbara real quick. Barbara! And that's a bar that not a lot of people are going to get, but if you do know, you know. And the thing I love about that is that J.I.D. is shouting out a fellow ATL artist in Fabo. Anyways, keep it running. Oh, nigga, bad for cause ain't compatible. I'm finna catapult, but niggas know it's going. I'm running out of fuel. That is jacked. What the fuck y'all gonna do if I don't run out of fuel? Get the baby oil, and you know what? You think about why Eminem released this. It just feels like a huge double down on the Diddy lines. Listen, if you didn't catch it in the first place, I'm a double down, and I'm literally gonna spell it out how I feel about Diddy. And I saw the nonsense of the internet. People going, Eminem was at Diddy's parties. Quit with the nonsense. Eminem has been dissing Diddy for years and years. 50 has been going after Diddy and warning the world about Diddy for years and years. Stop with the nonsense. I'm do if I don't run out of fuel. Definitely more Street Fighter schemes. I love when Eminem drops in and then the hi hats just really get running here. You might catch strays. And there's a number of people that catch strays in this, but there's also some direct shots that he fires, but I feel like he just sets it up. He warns us at the beginning of this verse, and this will come into play later in the verse. So you live the catch strays from the second you press play. I suggest they do not test. Press play, get it, and we got a game. That's a meta right there. Like an essay, because like wearing my homies out west day. Yeah. We can just say, what? I'm like an R-A-P-E-R. Yeah. Got so many essays. essays. That's ridiculous. Essay, he shows you the double. And actually, what did we say when we did the original breakdown? Isn't that a, a triple? So you got the... Test them like an essay. Got so many essays on paper in terms of what I write and what I do and what I put into my grind versus essays out west, right? Spanish, Mexican slang. What up, essay? Versus essays, sexual assaults, which ties in and sets up the Diddy scheme that he's about to get to with the R-A-P-E-R. -E we won't fill in that blank because he, he did live out a P Diddy. P Diddy. P space D I D space A G. Really? Is that a question? A wait, he didn't just spell the word rapper and leave out a P, did he? Yep, R P rest in peace, Biggie and Pop. Both of y'all should be living. Yep, but Peace Biggie. B living. I just love the way again that he fits that into the rhyme scheme. But we talked about Pac, and more information has come out about that situation, right? Keefy D was the one who was hired to do the hit on Pac. Right, and it was his cousin, and he was a crip, and you had that tie-in. So originally it was attributed possibly to gang violence, but then you start looking at who's the puppet master and who's pulling the strings. And this is something that Eminem teased on his kill shot diss to MGK. And who was running MGK? Well, Diddy. And there's definitely been, I feel like, a concerted effort behind the scenes, right? With a lot of influencers, with a lot of podcasters tied to Diddy-related networks over the years. And King Crooked came out and talked about this. And he saw a narrative as well of people really trying to shade Eminem. And almost like this behind-the-scenes cold war, this sort of ghost battle between Eminem, Camp Shady, and Diddy. And obviously, we're seeing who's losing and who's winning that side of things. Leave out a P, Diddy, yep. Be rest in peace, Biggie and Pac. Both of y'all should be living. Yep. And then for me, the Biggie line is even deeper because if Pac doesn't get killed, Biggie doesn't get killed. So 
that's that tie in that accountability. And obviously, a lot of people are saying that Suge is the one who put out the hit and he paid for a blood to go and kill Biggie when he was out in LA. But I think if you ask Eminem, he wouldn't be surprised if there's more strings attached to P. Diddy in the Biggie situation as well. Because look at Bad Boy Sales. I made a song called Drive Through, right? It's no secret that an artist dies, posthumous album sales. <sighs> They shoot through the roof, don't they? And you got less people to split it with. I ain't trying to beef with him because he might put a hit on me like KVD. Get him. That's the only way you're going to be killing me. Ain't going to be on no beat. Silly, I beat the beat. Silly on the grind like teeth. Gritty, call me OB. Silly, you right. On the beat, comma, silly, right? On the beat, don't be silly versus I beat the beat, silly. Just nice wordsmithing from Eminem right there. Ain't going to be on no beat. I love how he's just like shooting zombies now. I beat the beat, silly on the grind like teeth. Like a Ghostbusters. Pretty call me OB. And then there's the classic Eminem with the Jason mask coming out on stage with a chainsaw. UK police love that. Killing me, ain't gonna be on no beat, silly. I beat the beat, silly on the grind like teeth. Pretty call me OB. City. He's on a grind versus you grind your teeth. So many bars in this. Let's let it play a little bit and then we'll go back and break it back down. Ain't gonna be on no beat, silly. I beat the beat, silly on the grind like teeth. Pretty call me OB. City. You think it's over? Wait, it's just me getting. Diss me, and it ain't gonna be pretty nah. Used to be a tall, and I grew a little each day Till I beat King God like James Todd Now your arms are too short yeah. to beat K-Bra And beat they small, like, like DJ Paul <laughs> My new fans better than your truck by far <laughs> Suck my balls, you either smoke crack Or you're playing stickball in the street Cause you must be on base if you're thinking you could touch my car <laughs> But if the whole world was out to get you <laughs> It'd turn you to a powder keg too Cow written house, spitting rounds, detect shoots like <laughs> And that ain't no sound effect <laughs> Neither was that six hour, well, let's loose I don't condone gun violence at schools But I can't get these voices out my head there Putting words in my mouth like alphabet soup <laughs> Most content on the continent and constant This beat switch is ridiculous Laments give me confidence I'm Across the common sense and incompetence I'm cognizant the conflict's a consequence Of accomplishments encompassed through competition I've conquered and conked him into unconsciousness No conscious, I conjure this King Kong And just call me Kamikaze, I'm concocting this Nobody's 16s are touching these See, alliteration there is ridiculous My fucking index fingers fucking the meaner Clutching the 9 millimeter, tucking the heat Got the toaster, like an English muffin No, I mean toaster, like you dreamed or something But it's in a holster, I proceed to bust it Fuck around and get popped like a leader Hutchins, like I'm Alec Baldwin what I mean is fucking you down, who the raw then? Right between the fucking eyes, shoot them all in. If you think you're fucking with me, you're gonna suffer the fucking reaper. Cause the reaper's coming to heat, and I'm Ethan Crumbly. I keep a plenty fuel while the beat I'm punishing you. I'm Ethan Crumbly. You know what's interesting is I caught that in my original breakdown, and it's always interesting, like when a drop happens, I know it's gonna get a lot of attention, and then I get my breakdown out early because. I've seen a lot of people talking, and I've had fans message me. What's interesting is that people are messaging me about this. I'm like, all right, let me let me check this out. They're like, let's see what Genius says about this. I broke down the Ethan Crumbly bars. I went and looked at Genius, and it's so funny because you could see, like, you need to do a study on pre-my breakdown and post-my breakdown. And there's a lot more annotations that increase after my breakdown. So, Genius, uh, you're welcome. I'll send you the billable hours later. But there was definitely, like... Ethan Crumbly, but that wasn't written in yet. And someone put in like the wrong words and there was even an annotation like no idea what this is. And then literally, obviously I did my breakdown and then you check it like days later and magically it changes to Ethan Crumbly. So again, genius, you are you are very welcome. But let's bring it back and break down more of this. Ain't gonna be on no beat, silly. I beat the beat, silly. On the grind like teeth. Gritty, call me OB, silly. You think it's over? Wait, it's just beat. Be silly. Be city. I love the way that he somehow fits obesity into Beat Silly. Just very dope again. Obesity. Da 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 da. How many times do I talk about this? He's so good at just figuring out where to punch and to accent his syllables so that he can fit them into some of these just slant rhyme schemes that he does. Silly, I beat the beat, silly on the grind like teeth. Gritty, call me obesity. You think it's over? Wait, it's just beat. You think it's over? Da da da. Wait a second. Versus obesity, you are over. Wait, W E I G H T. This me, and it ain't gonna be pretty. Nah. Used to be a tall, and I grew a little each day till I beat King God like James Todd. Now your arms are too short. James Todd, aka LL Cool J, giving him a shout out, and he also played the character of God. Again, I broke down a lot of this before. I love how uh, JID's in the background, like rooting it on. Like Eminem just connected this one. Eminem now with the beard, with the hat taking on Bleach Blonde Eminem. It's the battle, just like this whole album is, of Eminem, the current Eminem, versus classic Eminem and Slim Shady, as accentuated by his voice. And we talked about this, like the different aspects of current Eminem 
versus past Eminem being fought out right here on the screen. That's clever. DJ Paul, he does have small arms. He has that condition. He's the one catching strays that Eminem warns of in the beginning. And then the BK Brawl ties in for me even more, even though LL Cool J is from Queens. BK Brawl, BK Brooklyn, still shouting out NYC, tying in with the James Todd bars. Todd, now your arms are too short yeah. to BK Brawl. And he, they small like DJ Paul. Hang on, there was something else there. Hang on, hang on. There was something that the lyric video did. I feel like I'm playing a game right now. Bare knuckle brawl. He's showing you the further breakdown that we did. So BK, Brooklyn, I went for the deeper layer. And then the obvious bar is bare knuckle BK brawl. But I love how he just highlights that to show you the wordplay that he's doing, man. And it's funny because he didn't highlight every double and triple. There's certain times he's highlighted double and triples, and I feel like that's something you have to think about as an MC when you're so layered like Eminem. Like, what are you going to highlight, and what are you not going to highlight in a lyric video? Because there's so much more that could be highlighted that he's choosing not to do. You really kind of, like, he's picking his spots. He's small, like DJ Paul. My new fan's better than your truck by far. It suck my balls. You either smoke crack or you're playing stickball in the street because you must be on base if you're thinking you could touch my car. See, right there, like, they didn't highlight the bass and you hear the bass kick in but that double b-a-s-s -S, i'm not seeing a b-a-s-s -S for that bass music sonic bass versus b on bass you must be on a bass a crack pipe playing off of being on bass touching a car because when you're playing stickball in the streets and you'll have actual bases to use you use a car and that can be one of the bases like second bass so you must be on bass playing ball you must be on bass when you hear the bass sound sonically you must be on bass you're a bass head there's layers to this. And then the car goes even further because he had the P. Diddy lines, the R-A-P-E-R lines before, talking about Diddy. And Diddy had Kid Cuddy's car blown up because of jealousy, really, and who Cuddy was dating. But if the whole world was out to get you, it'd turn you to a powder keg too. Dow Rittenhouse spitting rounds to take shoots like, and that ain't no sound effect. Neither was that six out where that's loose. Obviously, we know the, uh, the Kyle Rittenhouse lines, and we know which side of the fence Eminem sits on so that's more eminem trolling kyle rittenhouse and don't gun violence at schools but i can't get these voices out my head they're putting words in my mouth like alphabet soup that's the most words in my mouth alphabet soup that's such a dope bar content on the continent and constant compliments give me confidence across the common sense and incompetence of cognizant the conflicts a consequence of accomplishments encompass through competition I've conquered and conked them into unconsciousness no conscious conquered and conked them into unconsciousness we're playing conquers right now on this is bonkers conflicts a consequence of accomplishments encompass through competition I've conquered and conked them into unconsciousness no conscious the conscience is King Kong and just call me Kamikaze. I'm concocting this. Nobody's 16s are touching. Right there, you hear that record scratch and the beat just switch up yet again. It's my fucking index fingers, fucking the Nina. Clutching the 9 millimeter. Fucking the Nina, nobody's 16s. 16 bars in a verse. Nobody's touching my 16s. And then he takes it like I got 16 rounds in the clip. Right? And I'm squeezing the Nina right now. Touching the heat, got the toaster, like an English muffin. You know I mean toaster, like you drink to something. But it's toast, you drink to something, toaster, English muffin. He broke that down within the lyric video and the different double. Toaster, I proceed to bust it. Chuck around and get popped like a Nina Hutchins. Like I'm Alec Baldwin. What I mean is fucking you down, who the girl then? I mean, that's another stray caught. Alec Baldwin to Alina Hutchins, like literally saying it as a breakdown, that's catching a stray, and then she literally, unfortunately, caught a stray. Well, it was supposed to be a blank, but ask, ask Alec Baldwin about that one. Repercussions, Reaper's comment. Just again, the wordsmithing on that is so good. A he then I'm Ethan Crumbly. And what's interesting is Ethan Crumbly used a Sig Sawyer and he had a Sig Sawyer set up before. Remember I talked about like a certain word? I wonder if that just like triggers playing off of a certain artist and leading them to another level and layer. And I feel like that Sig Sawyer eventually led him down to Ethan Crumbly. School shooter, and he had school shooter bars earlier in the schemes as well. And then he's playing off of his 16s and what he's firing. It's so layered, the web that he's weaving and tying in all these metaphors. What was the whip? What was the whip shot right there? Look at Chitty. Look at Chitty still confused. These titans are clashing in front of him. I feel like that's why Eminem's so built. He's like the OG titan, right? And and JID is still like building up his following and getting there. But let me tell you, don't sleep on Jid. Oh yeah, back to just like destroying the whip. I wonder if that if that is layered somehow. If that maybe is linked to like Diddy's car. One of Diddy's cars. And that's what he's doing, just tearing through the Lamborghini. Hang on, I want to 
check that. So Kid Cudi had a Porsche that Diddy blew up. So I don't think it's a coincidence like he's taking a chainsaw to the sports cars there. That's ridiculous. Game over. Play again. Middle finger up. Wait, I wonder if that... I wonder if that's a little Easter egg and a teaser. Because you have yes highlighted, but not no. Meaning this is not the end. We're getting more Eminem. And also you've got the middle finger coming out of the ground. Right? To even show you not only that... It seems like we're getting more Eminem. It seems like Shady is not truly dead because there's the middle finger coming up from the grave too. Oh, that is clever. I think that's an Easter egg. I'll tell you what, man. Lyrical greatness. And it's even more highlighted and accentuated by a creative ass lyric video. But I love all the little Easter eggs. Right? The little moments. There's always a devil in the details with Eminem. And even if you're going to do something visually, do it a little bit different. Do it creatively. And then tease us. And give us things to speculate and to think on. And I think it really delivered. And shout out to J.I.D. for having to me one of the verses of the year as well. Because he absolutely came through, knew his homework, and killed that Eminem feature. Eminem J.I.D., you were Noxo certified. Hope you guys like today's video. Listen for some reason you're here at the end. Obviously, enjoy the content. Do me a huge favor. Support the channel directly. Subscribe to notifications on. It really, really does go a long way. I love you guys. Stay safe, stay positive. It's Molly Noxo. No, I'll catch you again.